Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video, we will see how to recover content in Microsoft Exchange. See, recovering content in Exchange Online that is stored in the folder structure of mailboxes can be done via compliance searches and e-discovery cases. To perform the steps, administrators can use the Microsoft Purview Portal and the Security and Compliance Center PowerShell module. Let me just navigate to the portal and take it from there. Alright, I am logged on to the portal. I am in the compliance.microsoft.com. You go to e-discovery. It is called the Microsoft Purview Portal as well. You click on e-discovery, you click on standard. It says after creating an e-discovery case and choosing who has access to it, use the case to search for email, documents, Skype for business conversations, uh, Teams data and other content in your organization. You can then preserve the content and export the search results for future for further analysis. Click on create a case. Type in the name. You have to type in a meaningful name and a description. That will help you identify it later and click on save. I'm just doing it for the lab so we can do, I can enter the name anything. case name select the case on the searches tab select searches click on new search now we are associating a search with the case enter the search here description on the locations page Choose the content locations you want to search and select next. Okay. And then the locations that you want to put on hold. Click on next. Input. Uh, the keywords and conditions for the search and click on next click on the submit options it will take few seconds done click on exports and select the export you generated so when you will if the data would be generated and then you can download the list from here like it's exporting it's exporting blank but you will see the results when you will open the file with the actual data like this Okay. And you can also use the Exchange PowerShell and the new compliance search command line to create a search and to get the same results like I get from the UA GUI. I believe this was informative for all of you guys. If you have any further queries, uh, please mention them in the comment section and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.